strength cannot be contained. Hey guys, Antonio Zilli here. Welcome to a new video. Today, we are going to unbox and review the Thrash and Throw Tyrannosaurus Rex figure from Mattel, finally. So, let's take a quick look at the packaging. So, um, it's, as always, it's, it's the volcano up there. And then you've got something that demonstrates like how you use the toy right there, a try-me symbol. And there's actually a picture instead of just the plain try-me logo. Up there, There's a. it tells you that this has electronic sounds. And up, and up here, down here, it says gigantic bike, thrash and throw. So you can pick up stuff and like throw them around like to break all their bones and kill them. I guess that's what this toy is trying to get to. Like, you remember that scene from Jurassic Park, spoiler alert, when Donald Gennaro was on the toilet and he got eaten by the T-Rex? Um, that's pretty much how this toy works. Like, it picks, picks you up and then it, like, throws you around and then I guess you could pretend it ate you and then it, it rolls, which is really cool. With movie, movie authentic sound. Anyways. Right there, it says Thrash and Throw Tyrannosaurus Rex, trademarked. On the back, um, it shows you, for some reason, all of the miniature dinosaurs. All the little mini dinosaurs that come in those little three packs. And um, then back here, here's a demonstration for um, how the toy works. Move tail for thrashing and throwing. So, uh... And then right here, we've got um, this thing that tells you, get Jurassic World Facts app. Learn more about your dinosaur. App is available for download at no cost. Some activities may require in-app purchases. Data rates may apply. What is this noise? You get a really nice graphic image of the T-Rex. Wow, this one is a little bit more airbrushed than, than the actual products, but yeah, this one's slightly more airbrushed. And right here is more demonstration of how it works. So, I know you guys are probably bored by now, so I'm sorry about that. So let's take this thing out of the box. So here is Rexy out of her box. Now I'm not gonna lie, this has to be one of the most phenomenal sculpts out of the entire toy line. Like, look at the head. It looks exactly like the T-Rex that's featured in the Jurassic Park series. Mattel took so much care into this thing. It's just so awesome. If anything, the teeth might be a little bit clumpy. That's only so um, it's safe for kids. The front looks extremely menacing. I guess uh, it sells on that one. It's extremely scary looking from the front. One of my favorite elements about the sculpt is actually the scars. The only thing is they're on the wrong side of the head. They should be on the, um, the right side. And um, these were inflicted by the Velociraptors from Jurassic Park and the Indominus Rex from Jurassic World. <coughs> oh, bless me. Um, the Indominus Rex from Jurassic World. It's worth noting that this toy has quite a few seams. That's for the action feature, but the thing is, the sculpt actually continues. Uh, you can see it continues after the seam, which is so cool. That's awesome. Another one of my favorite things about the sculpt is the legs. Look at that muscle structure. Are you kidding me? Just look at that. It looks so good. Like, Mattel could have easily missed that with like the muscles and everything, but it makes it look so genuine. 
The only thing that this thing is missing is the real feel skin deal. If you don't know what that means, that, that was like a popular thing in the old Jurassic Park toys. Like they'd have rubbery skin so it'd feel like you're actually touching like a, a dinosaur or a reptile or anything like that. And the tail looks really nice. And actually the tip of it is made of so, sort of the rubber thing that I was just talking about a couple of seconds ago. Oh, and you can see the muscles in the, in the tail too. Yeah, they're really doing a good job on the overall body structure of this toy. Even the bottom of the feet have been carefully sculpted, but it's literally ruined by these seams right here. There you go, those are terrible looking. And then the, there are the pegs that hold, hold it into the package. That's why I was having such a hard time un, like unboxing it. It's because those dang pegs, man, just, I don't know, just keep it in the box with, you know, the strings that wrap around the body, like the, like the smaller Mattel dinosaurs. And, oh, you can also see the Jurassic World logo right there under the peg hole. And here's the QR code if you really need it. So overall, the sculpt is absolutely fantastic. Next, let's take a look at the articulation. So first of all, the mouth opens pretty wide and um, it won't stay there, which sucks, but it comes into play with the action feature and the head can move this way and this way pretty far and also hold their place, which is really nice. And of course the body moves around like side to side, up, down, and that comes into play with the action feature. Now the legs, they can move, but they're in like snapped in position, which is kind of strange. Well, I guess that's so it over time when it gets older, it won't loosen up. It'll always be in a nice and tight position, which is pretty clever. And also the the tail moves around, that, that goes with the action feature. You can see it moves the body around. And of course the electronic sounds too. As far as the paint goes, it's not great. I don't know, it seems like most of Mattel's paint jobs are slightly basic, but um, some of them work, some of them look strange. And I think that they could have put just a little bit more work in the, especially the T-Rex's paint job. Um, they, they could just do it as basic as this, just make it like something that's more accurate to the movie, like the color of my table. Look at look at my table. It's um it's like a very very dark brown. So yeah, that's what Rexy looks like, like the original T Rex. That's what it looks like. So um, do that, but still keep the the underside, and maybe do just a little bit of dry brushing, and that would have completed the paint job. So finally, let's take a look at her action features. Now, ha as it's been executed in the video, she has stomping features with every single stomp, and it can get annoying when you're reviewing it. And um, she has controls, advanced controls through the tail, so you can like pick up, pick up stuff with her mouth. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm having a hard time, so I'm just gonna cheat a little bit here. But how most of them work, you pick up a figure, and then thrash him around, and then finish with that T-Rex roar, which is accurate to the movie franchise. So here she is next to the stomp and strike or actually crap and fart Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. Oh my gosh. Is there even any comparison? Look at this. This is so ridiculous. My, that's, oh my gosh, my voice is getting so high. This is actually supposed to be the same exact animal as what this is supposed to be. What? This is the most pitiful thing I've ever seen. This is by Mattel, and this is by Hasbro. Oh my gosh, that, that thing is almost hard to look at, even like, especially compared to this one. I mean, it's always been bad, but if you look at this one, it, like, it just pales in comparison to this thing. Like, you know. Listen to the crankiness of that thing. They're actually around the same size. I always thought that the thrash and throw T-Rex was um, a little bit bigger than the stomp, like the crap and fun one. But they're actually around the same size. Here's a couple of other size comparisons.
Alright guys, that was pretty much the review. If you're interested in my channel and my content, I really suggest you hit the like button, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy reviews coming very, very soon. Later. Also, if you wanted to know why it took forever to get the Thrash and Throw review out on my channel, it's because I filmed it back in early May and it just... I didn't like how it turned out, so I pushed it. To, I pushed the project to the side for like a long time, all the way until now, until I decided eh, I'll just film the rest and you know publish it on YouTube. So that's the video you're watching right now. All right. Okay, can you roar, please? Thank you. All right. See you guys later.